Hey, hello! Back after having the designer virus for about a week, but I'm feeling great now. Not bad symptoms, kind of like the flu. Voice is still kind of bad, but it never was good, was it? Well, what I want to talk about today is uh, these uh, uh, Monarch square dial lathes. And they were made from 48, 49 uh, to present you know, uh, actually to present. But this style here uh, was about 48, 1948, 1949 to uh, 1959. And uh, one of the ways to uh, um, identify this style is the small door here with the two knobs. Okay. And on this particular one here, um, they were all motor generator like this and up until um, um, about 52 or 53. And then they put vacuum tubes in them, but they also made the motor generator model like this alongside for a period of time. But I, I don't know, maybe 1955, 56. But uh, the vacuum tubes didn't go over very well at first, I suspect. But uh, this smaller generator, you can see the generator uh, down here. And uh, yeah, this one's got a small door with the knobs to lock it in. And the base is narrower than uh, after 59, it went to a wider base, and it's just 16 inches. Uh, on this part here, uh, yeah. Okay. Now, on the motor generator models, there's the end door, the right end door. There's no vents. It's just a solid door. And you'll find on the vacuum tube models, there'll there'll be a vent, a couple of vents. I think I've even seen them like this, but. There'll be some vents here for the vacuum tubes. I'll stick that back there. Now, this machine here is the most basic model. It's a manufacturing lathe, and uh, often these you'll find these with turrets and, and other things um, on there. But this is just the plain one, a conventional. A, a turn uh, face board lathe like, like the hard edge it has a model like this too. And uh, there's no lead screw, very simple gearbox here. And uh, it's got the headstock switch. Okay. Now, these models here have the electrical panel back here. And here, here's uh, an electrical panel. Hope you can see them, they're real good. Here's the forward and reverse switches. And I believe this is a field relay, acceleration relay. Here's some buffer um, resistors here to keep the machine from slamming when you're going from uh, reverse to forward. If you look at some of the videos, I can switch this from reverse to forward. There's no banging or slamming. It's, it's uh, kind of got a little bit of a buffer to it. So the gears don't bang. And uh, on the back here are the brake resistors. Now this is a direct current motor. And when you put it in neutral, it throws on the dynamic brake turns the motor into a generator and, and then puts that power into these uh, resistor coils, uh, bringing the lathe to a rapid start. Stop. Okay. That's pretty heavy. Okay. That's it for going here. Not too bad. Yeah, this is the very basic model machine here. Um, and after 1959, they went to with uh, what's called the module drive machine, and that's this one over here. Now, um, I can't think of much else to say on this. 
except for um, you know pay attention to what uh, if it if it has the original drive whether it's uh, the old they called it a works in a drawer vacuum tube because the whole works would slide out that right end and you could work on it but uh, if you take that end cover off if it's motor generator you'll see pulleys if it's uh, um, the uh, works in a drawer vacuum tube you'll see tubes at that right end with vents okay let, let's get over here see if i can rotate all this around here pretty good <laughs> let's see how that works and i have to kind of look kind of back here a little bit yeah, that's okay, I think. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Okay. Now, 1960 or later are, are, are like this. And the base is about, uh, I think it's 20 and a half inches. It's about four inches deeper this way. Okay. Now, this one here, has the electric lead screw reverse and uh, it has the spindle lever on the apron okay now these can come either way they can have the spindle lever here too this one is the uh, inch metric model okay now in the base here i'll open this up here Those uh, switches that were in the little box are now spread out through here. This is the uh, uh, called the electrical compartment with the switches, forward reverse switches, and all the other stuff that uh, uh, makes this more complicated machine do uh, all those functions. Now over on this end, I get that off there is the uh, vacuum tube compartment. We'll get this over here. Hopefully you can see everything. And the first thing you'll see, I'm gonna go ahead and take this off, this, uh, this here. The first thing you'll see when you open the door is the module right here at this black box here. And there's a screw up in the corner, I've got it out. And then you can tilt this whole thing out and there's the vacuum tubes here. And it's got the same uh, breaking resistors here that the, that the older one does. Okay, that's what that looks like. And, and often you'll find that these machines have been altered. And you'll have to make that decision if you purchase the machine, you know, what you're gonna do about the drive situation. Now, myself, this, this, these things might seem real complicated, but after a few years of owning one, you become quite familiar with these things. And if I found one with this stuff stripped out, it wouldn't be any problem for me to restore it. But that might be a tall order for someone just starting out. But uh, that's what I would do if I found a good one of these machines like this. They had uh, a Mickey Mouse drive in it. I'd, I'd bring it back to uh, to this. If not, you know, spending the money for uh, the modern uh, one from Monarch, their uh, their uh, inverter drive, AC inverter, seven and a half horsepower drive. I had an opportunity to try one, and it works great. Okay. So anyway, I thought I'd kind of point some of that stuff out. Now, on this, this is an inch metric lathe. And uh, to really, you know, easily tell the difference is uh, there's three levers here. And uh, the uh, English only will not have this lever. So there will only be two levers. Then there's a little window in the English uh, only lathe. And this one doesn't have that. It has a more complex uh, 
scale on it, and it cuts a lot more threads and leads. Plus metric, of course. I, uh, every time I use this machine, I learn something new. I was doing uh, some accuracy tests and stuff with different shocks, and this is a, a Monarch 8-inch uh, Cushman direct mount chuck. And I was just getting ridiculously good uh, uh, accuracy as far as taper on some larger pieces. And I'll explore that more and do some videos on that. I think that would be interesting. But anyway, I thought I'd just kind of run through some of this stuff a little bit. And uh, if you have any questions on anything, you can ask me. I'll answer it as best I can. Now, you know, here where I am, I'm near Hanford, and these things are used just by the hundreds, hundreds of these things out there. Some of them were contaminated and they bury them. But uh, one of the problems here uh, in Washington State is uh, it's hard to find one in really good shape. They just use the crap out of them. You know, if they come from Boeing, those things are usually a real mess. And out here at Hanford, you know. So sometimes you have to go to different areas. I had to, uh, I got this from a, a machine tool dealer uh, some uh, 20 years ago, Lost Creek Machine. He just happened to have this and put it on the internet. Okay, well, I'm going to load this and see how it goes. Thanks for looking.